Look, it's not about Look, me. This instructor boot back again. Uh, doing Q. finding what? volume of a rectangular prism. This goes along obviously with our volume song, which you heard in the intro. Please check it out on YouTube after you do this, just as a reminder or some awesome music maybe you want to work out to or something. I don't know. Okay. Uh, so today we're, we're doing finding volume of a rectangular prism. So the first question we want to ask ourselves really is, what is volume? So we learn in you know, sec third grade and fourth grade about perimeter and area, right? And so volume is kind of another step in, the, uh, in that whole arena. What we're talking about when we talk about volume is how much space is inside, right? And uh, let me get my pen. Inside a 3D object, right? And 3D obviously mean three, meaning three-dimensional. And so when we, we measure volume in cubes, instead of, you know, we do area with square units, we do volume with cubed units. So a lot of times they'll show you this um, picture, and they'll have the rectangular prism. And there are other 3D shapes, but we're really focused on rectangular prisms. Now the the uh, rectangular prism with just a picture of cubes. And so the long way to do this, right, would be to count all the cubes that make up the um, make up the shape. So we'd have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve on the back, right? Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. And we could say our there we go. Our volume would be eighteen units cubed. Okay, but. There's going to be bigger pictures, and we want to really know how do we find the volume. So how do we find how much space is inside the shape? And so really what we want to do when we find the volume is we find, want to find the area of the base first and then use our skip counting, our repeated addition, to help us figure out the, how many cubes there are total. So area of the base is going to be the same as the area of the top in a rectangular prism. So right now what we want to do is get a pen out first. And we want to try to figure out, okay, well, what is the area of the top? Because that's going to be the same as the area of the base, which is what that B stands for, okay? And so I can see right here that my area would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 square units, because there are 6 squares on top, which means there are 6 cubes in this entire first layer, right? And that makes sense. And then how many layers of 6 do we have? Well, we have one, matter of fact, I'm going to get a different color out. We have one, two, three layers of that. So six plus six plus six would be 18 units cubed. Again, because we're talking about cubes, we use units cubed. So what you just did is you took the area of the base, which is six, and you multiplied it by the height or the layers, which was three, and you got the answer 18 units cubed. So this is our formula for volume, which is something we can use all the time to help us find the volume. Now, another formula you might see is really the same thing that this is, except instead of counting the squares up here, let me get my handy dandy eraser if I can. Oh, that is, oh, that's bad. There we go, oh, there we go. Oh, that's a big one, okay. And so instead of um, counting the uh, cubes on top, what we're going to do is we are going to take the area of the base and use our area formula of length, multiply that by the width, which is 2, to find the area of the base to still be 6. So really what you just did is you took the area of the base and you did 3 times 2, which is length times width, and then you still multiply that by how many layers, which would be 3, and you're still going to get 18 cubed. So really, the, another for, uh, volume formula a lot of people use is volume equals length times width times height, which is the same thing as just saying the area of your base times the height. So let's look at another example because they don't always just give us the cubes. And so let's use our volume formula right here. Okay, and we want to know the area of the base times the height, obviously, as you can see our formula, except there's no cubes to count. And so, again, we talk about the area of the base being the same as the area of the top. So I'm going to use 25 as my length and 3 as my width, and I'm going to break this apart into 25 times 3. And then how many layers of that do I have? Well, my height right here would be 7. So 25 times 3 times 7. 
and I am going to do that math over here, and the answer is 525. So my volume, sorry, I like to rewrite everything, equals 525, and my units here are inches, so we're going to say inches cubed. It would take 525 cubes, that were cubed inches, to fill this rectangular prism up. So for this one, we actually used our volume formula length times width times height, which again is just saying the same thing as our area of the base times how many layers you have, which is the height. So go ahead and pause this one. Uh, go ahead and try it, and then we'll just check our work really quick. So hopefully you paused it and you just tried it. Um, again, I can't count the area of my top. Let me get my highlighter out right here, make it yellow. First thing I want to do is find the area of my base, which is the same as the top. And so to do that, I'm going to use my length which is 7, and my width, which is 2. Obviously, that would be 14, right? And so the area of my base is 14. What I just did is I split this into length times width, so 7 times 2, and then I have 5 layers of that. That's my height, which I see right here. So I'm going to multiply that times 5. And so my volume, okay, I know 7 times 2 is 14, and then now I need to multiply that times my height. And so my volume, I believe, would be 70, man, I am good, 70 centimeters cubed. So again, we used our length times our width to find the area of our base first, right? These two things is the same as that. And then we multiplied that by our height, okay, how many layers we had. So as always, uh, please check us out on YouTube. Listen to our volume song to help remind you the things maybe you learned in this video or just need to review or just remember. Follow us on Instagram at, at InstructTheBeats. Cue the music. InstructTheBeats out.